How do you guys? Um, so, me uh, first port of call, if you like, uh, just got destroyed by two boats. Um, <laughs> moved up a compound, uh, or a pound even. Um, lost the only jack that I'd seen, um, really. Uh, then another boat, I just thought, you know, I've only got a couple of hours, I'm moving on to another venue, so uh, come further up the canal. Um, where I started with crystal clear until the boats went through me in complete contrast. Um, the section one now actually just looks normal. Um, yeah, could have been a boat gone through because the water level's quite down and the overflow's not working on my side, so yeah, I might be a bit too late on this one, but we'll uh, try here. Uh, for a little while and see if I can get anything out. If not, you won't be seeing a video. <laughs> That's true, you know. Really? You could see, not here, but further down, you could see all the, uh, by the side of the back. It like, yeah. It didn't look right at all. Um, and I was asking one of the workers and he said, yeah, there's a farmer who can take the water track, but sometimes he takes too much. I presume they must have it. Oh, oh. Also, what did you see there? There we go. That's so exciting. Do you need to put your camera on? Uh, I don't know if you know if it's on or not. Um. <laughs> oh my god! Wow! Just come around, you're sorry. <laughs> Rodin! This is like a dream. <laughs> that was just because of changing the lure over as well. Yeah. He's got some strength in him. But I've put three different lures through the through here so far and this is the first one he's had a go at. But I saw it lunge first, which I was like, oh up. And it's in the net. Awesome. Yeah. Just sort the hook out first. And I'm going in myself. that line there and that line there so that fish is if you look at the size of that head to that one that to there so that was a much bigger fish <laughs> right guys so i've just uh third lure of pass through going to the savage gear 19 centimeter uh rainbow trout lip lure and this little beauty uh snaffled it up quite quickly uh perfect on that side but you can't see on don't think you'll make it out but on this side you can't quite so there's a groove there uh, and there's one there so there's a massive fish has had a much bigger than my hand span so but um fantastic <laughs> lovely little fish before work so uh, we'll get rested up and then release it he says Kind of once you've rested them up, they kind of you know when they need to go because they'll start to kick. Yeah. Wow. But I just I'd love to know where that pike is that's had a go at this one. Yeah, goodness me. <laughs> there he goes. Well, maybe that one's just too smart to. Well, that's the thing. The older fish, they are wiser. Okay, guys, so that's the end of uh, today's session. Um, <laughs> First, first pound I landed on, uh, two boats went through and absolutely chopped it up. Sorry, the brightness is uh, going up and down. Um, so I ended up moving around because um, getting really frustrated with the condition of the water. When I first pulled up, it was crystal clear. I mean, too crystal clear, to be fair. And then from crystal clear to chocolate. So uh, I've moved away, come up to another pound. And in all fairness, I've had one fish. But do you know what? It's a quick session before work. One fish is all I need. It's all good. Uh, it's one of those things, isn't it, where if you're sat at home playing your games console or watching DVDs or just not getting in the bank, you're not going to catch a fish, obviously. So 30 minutes might be all you've got. Just try and get out for 30 minutes. Um, it's all I usually get, not 30 minutes, probably two or three hours max of a morning before work. Um, but it's, it's just good to get out and try. So key is get out on the bank. 
Um, yeah, not, not a very productive uh, session today, however. Um, what I will do um, is show you the lures I've used today. Obviously, on the videos I do, everyone goes, oh, but I mean, every time you go, you seem to catch, or you know, you, you always catch one. Well, that's not the case. Um, and quite often I go out and I do blank, and obviously I'm not going to stick a video up about blanking, because I think that's just boring. Um, I just prefer to stick up the action parts of the video. So naturally, the videos on each day are really concertina down to, concertina down, squash down. So it's just the scenes where I've caught or I've missed a fish, not the, the lure changes, the, the different pounds and stretches I'm going to, because you're gonna find that boring. So the, just to highlight, I guess, today, um, the lures I have used, so I started off on the jig fly. Always a good one to start with. Um, Actually, did I? No, I didn't. I tell a lie. I started off on the Rapala. Um, Rapala, um, which one's this one? Otis 25, this is. So, uh, curly tail version. They also do a straight tail version. Um, not so keen on this at the moment. Uh, more so for the fact that when you jerk the bait, it rises up quite a bit and then flutters back down. It looks awesome when it flutters down, but on a steady retrieve, that's, that's good. It looks awesome. Um, but I think this needs a bit of added weight just to keep the nose down so when you do jerk it, it jerks at a certain level, um, no puns intended, uh, but not a sniff on that one today. Moved over to the jig fly and I did get some interest, uh, I missed two fish to be fair on that one. Um, so after yesterday's performance where I had five to a jig fly, uh, the first one which was a David Warren F4P fly which I had to cut off the fish, moved over to that one and ironically I went up uh, a jig fly size and the fish size went down so I'm not sure if that's key for down there but um, yep but caught nothing on that one uh, and then also to go with Bert um, this one's the hollow sh is it hollow shiner ghost I can't remember but anyway uh, absolutely nothing to that whatsoever and these guys are usually deadly um, then tried the savage gear spinner blade um, and gold pattern nothing to that either and then the winner at the end of the day was a Savage Gear 19 centimetre lip lure. Uh, I said earlier it was rainbow trout, uh, clearly it's not a rainbow trout. I think this one's smolt, um, I really can't remember, but uh, yeah, definitely rainbow trout. But these guys, if I was to choose probably two lures now after the many years of fishing, Savage Gear 13 centimetre uh, lip lure in uh, probably rainbow trout, roach and rud jig flies all the way because these two lures are the easiest lures to fish you could be a complete novice absolute beginner and you will catch on these a hundred percent in regards to that style lure because of the lip on the front uh, if you can see because they, they move so much he says uh, I can't really hold it still enough to make it to show you it's got a lot of movement anyway uh, this makes it move like um, an injured or knackered fish basically so, and then you can add your, your own little twitches and jerks into it as well to make it move a bit more as, a desire, as you desire. With regards to the jig fly, I think these, in my mind now, have overtaken these. For the right water, I reckon deep water, you probably will never go wrong with the bird. Um, but these little bad boys, uh, yeah, these are the business. Um, so, all I can say is, yeah, I've, I've, I've caught one fish today. Showing the lures I've used today, so I've not used just one. Um, and you know, it's been a cracking morning. Uh, I've got another late shift today. I've met another um, uh, person on the bank whilst we were fishing this morning, and I actually caught a fish while she was there. And it was really nice for her to, to see that fish come out and how it attacked the lure. Uh, and for it, she really, to be fair, she appreciated just how pretty the fish uh, the pike are. Um, and again, another really nice person to have a chat with. It's like, like yes, Tim Budley, so many nice people to talk to on the bank. Um, makes a really nice change. So um, what we'll do at the end of the video, now I'm about to stop waffling, um, is I will put the link or some links in to some of the fish and tackle I've got. Um, I've had a few questions this time around and a couple of messages privately as well, um, asking what I'm using. So I might not find the cheapest version of it, but I'll put the link in so you can see what it is and you can shop about yourselves and um, hopefully get a few more of you uh, out and about fishing. So without further ado, uh, I'll be off uh, to get ready for work and I'll catch you again on the bank. Tight lines, guys.